The Dog Who Belonged to No One by Amy Hest. Once there was a small dog with crooked ears. He belonged to no one. And once there was a wisp of a girl named Leah. The dog who belonged to no one was a perfectly nice fellow with a perfectly nice temperament. He was not a loud barker, nor was he a biter, jumper, fussy eater, or grumbler. Leah lived with her mother, a baker, and her father, a baker, in a crooked little house on the edge of town. It always smelled wonderful there, like bread in the oven and cake. The porch had a soft night light. The dog who belonged to no one tried hard to be helpful every day. When the baseballs of summer sailed into the woods, he found the baseballs. When the air turned cold and mittens went missing, he found the mittens. Not that anyone took notice of a small dog with crooked ears. Every Sunday, the busiest day for bakers, Leah saddled up her bike with fine breads and gorgeous cakes to deliver to town. The dog who belonged to no one spent his days quite alone, exploring the narrow streets and wide boulevards of town after town, all through the changing seasons. He longed for a friend. There were many high hills and Leah pedaled very hard. Her legs grew tired. To make herself feel less alone, she thought up stories as she pedaled. The stories were like friends on her long ride to town. <clears throat> as day turned slowly to night, the dog who belonged to no one Try to outrun the night. Run, run, run. But a small dog could not outrun the night. <clears throat> As the dark grew darker, he trembled. He shook. To make himself less lonely, he pictured a yard and a porch with a soft light. He pictured a cozy corner where he could tuck himself inside himself and dream of belonging to someone. And as day turned slowly to night, Leah pedaled all the way home, pedal, pedal, pedal to the crooked little house where she climbed into bed and tucked herself inside herself and dreamed. One Sunday morning, a storm whipped into town, a great big Sunday soaker. The dog who belonged to no one tried to outrun the storm. Run, run, run. At that very moment on that very Sunday, a wisp of a girl was racing home. Pedal, pedal, pedal. But the small dog could not outrun the storm. How wet he was, soaked to the bone. Leah was soaked right to the bone. He shook, he shivered, he dripped. When the wind blew, his crooked ears blew. She shook, she shivered, 
she dripped. When the wind blew, her hair blew too. The dog who belonged to no one ran and ran to the edge of town and onto the porch of the crooked little house. Leah paddled and paddled to the edge of town right to the porch where her parents were waiting and a small dog was waiting and the soft light was on. Inside, there was bread in the oven and cake, and the towels were warm. In time, the dog who belonged to no one stopped shivering. Leah stopped too. They both had cake. Afterward, he tucked himself inside himself on Leah's chair. As day turned to night, he dreamed. And in his dream, he had a friend. When he woke up, Leo was there. Hello, she said. And she stayed right there, telling him a story about a wisp of a girl and a small dog with crooked ears. And they belonged to each other all through the changing seasons. <laughs>